How's it going guys? Welcome back to One Shot. What's this? No cutscene for closing the game improperly? Yes, that's because I'm playing multiple episodes in one sitting. What a change of pace. The door is locked from the inside. Alright, so nothing nothing to be done at that one. <laughs> Hopefully, well, I, I did. I did already investigate this other one, so I know for sure that there's this isn't even what I thought it was. There's two rooms to investigate down this hallway. A small potted plant, just a, a ridiculous amount of sinks. What's this here? Soap dispenser. Damn. Not something I can snag a button from, is it? I can't just rip a button out of it. Scissors. There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair? I don't think anyone is using them anymore, so a uh, big old yoink. Definitely keeping that forever. Maybe we can trim some plants at some point. Found amidst hair. Uh, I don't see any direct use it would have yet. Was wondering if you could cut the shirt up into rags or anything, but the shirt was another uh, optional thing that I wouldn't wasn't necessarily going to get. I had to had to barter for that, haggle for it a little bit. Coffee. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have a sip of real life coffee. Mm, room temperature, just the way I like it. Not at all. <laughs> coffee machine. It's very warm. I'm jealous. I I'm, don't quite have that. <laughs> a pile of large books. They look like phone books. Maybe we just pick a random name and give it a call? Hey, a TV head guy. We already talked to plant head guy. Everyone has really applicable heads. Although, really, you should have a book head. You should be hanging out more in like a security cam area, or monitoring, or TV broadcast, something. There's a book head guy somewhere who would be more well suited to this job. Unless you guys just swapped just for fun. Pile of large books. Some of the pages are dog eared. Are any of them cat eared at all? Nothing interesting about that pile of books whatsoever. Boring, boring pile. Ooh, fancy fridge. This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy. I hope nobody will mind us taking them. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing to steal. A s scissors lost on the floor or whatever. Maybe you think twice about taking those. Someone might come back for it. You don't know, but it looks pretty abandoned. They weren't even nice enough to clean up the hair. These... Well, someone collected these and likes them. They're like, they're... They are magnets, you know? It's a collection that they curated over time. An assortment of colorful magnets. They don't stick, I mean, they probably would stick together, but it seems to not be what we're going for here. Uh, yeah, I do feel kind of bad for stealing these magnets. That was some straight up theft, Nico. Jeez. Hey there. Hello. You the Messiah? Mm-hmm. Really embracing that role. I like it. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will, when I see her again. Well, the least you could do is compliment this guy's scarf. I I guess that's all that this guy's here for? Well, that's f funny, strange. Oh, I, did I just end up in a different, I totally am in a different area. It looks like I can unlatch this door. And then, aha, oh. Did we just open our way up into the one that was locked from the inside before? We totally did. The magnets might be the- Oh, this might be the worst thing I've ever done. But if this is like an old school style monitor, you might be able to scramble it with magnets. I, I just- I just see no other purpose for this character, so I thought I would try it. Oh, one of them was a ram magnet. That was cute. I should check the trash just in case. Pokemon style. Or like Earthbound or whatever, just check trash cans, always in video games. That's always where people stick useful things for some unknown reason. But yeah, I thought for sure TV guy would have some purpose. Seems like he's just there just to make the world feel a slightly more interesting. Alright, another another broken bridge. Uh, let's go entirely. I was, wasn't sure if I wanted to do both tops and then both bottoms. Let's do all the left style stuff. Ah, okay, well I know where to come for a bed when I need it. I'm a little tired. Is it alright if I take a nap? There are times where you have said no to this, so I'm gonna go ahead and allow it. Makes me feel like a bit of an ass, like allowing a sleep, you know? 
Oh, delicious pancakes. Probably from mom. Kind of looked like it for a second there. We didn't get a very strong look overall. I wasn't sure if it would still play out a cutscene or not. Uh, but I, I, I guess Nico would have said no to napping herself if it wasn't if it wasn't like time for a new little little peep. Graham I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday? Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Oh, uh, it's not something I can choose on the spot. Is it pancakes? I do like pancakes. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but ooh, if they're made by my grandpa, then yes, they're, they're up there. But no, picking my favorite food is literally like the hardest thing anyone could ever ask me to do. <laughs> On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. My grandpa will fight your mama. <laughs> and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes, I live in an apartment building. There are plenty of neighbors. Ooh, do they share their food with you? No. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. That's a lot of work. I mean, it would be chill the days where you don't have to do it, but the day it's your turn, you would dread it. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. It does sound like a little bit of a utopia you have there. I'm, I'm a little jealous. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. I don't really know how how time has progressed. Like, how, how each nap, is that a full 24-hour cycle? Does this world operate on 24-hour cycles? Hard to say. The amount of upkeep in this city doesn't seem overly strong. There's a lot of, like, busted up stuff, it seems like. Broken bridges and all that. But maybe that's mostly the anomaly's fault. Maybe they're working on it. Maybe this thing is a mega city and they just don't have time. Small tree. Hello, clockhead. Oh, you're looking the wrong way up. Like, in the actual in-game sprite. Your little portrait there seems fine, but you, like, look like you turned away from me. Good afternoon. Well... The time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then, how can you tell? It's not like you can really look at your own face to read the time, can you? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Usually a mirror does the trick. Keeps things pretty simple overall that way. Hmm. I'm gonna go... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the end of the hall here first. Ah, uh, next, next big meta puzzle probably. You're gonna need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Oh, so nothing I need to do meta-wise? A transparent sheet filled with numbers? Aha. Uh -huh. So I need to expose it to the void. Wait, is my world the void? What do you have to say for yourself? Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? I mean, do I just go to my documents and my videos or whatever? That seems a little obvious. I'll s I'll take another tip. Why not? Let's let's get things moving here. There's a void beyond the four walls that bl bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the file, f pass the film through the void and back again. I don't know how to yank something out of the game. I guess, I guess I have to go dig around in the game files and see if this is there somewhere. Annoyingly, a few things are, are broken up kind of a, across multiple parts of my, my desktop, so it takes me a minute to find things sometimes. Is this, what is this clover thing here? Because this would be the game, I think. Just a lone clover? Can I interact with that? Why is it like, why is it like 10 megabytes? Uh, and I think that's back when I first installed the game. 
not not like something that suddenly appeared so uh, I have no clue what that's all about I'm seeing nothing in the files that really makes sense maybe that would be too many times doing the same the same thing like maybe maybe I've already done like digging through the files I've already done the wallpaper thing so maybe it's something different than that you're testing my patience do you really want the answer I kind of just want you to repeat the hint. Hmm. I don't entirely want the answer, no. The game said something about outside of the borders of, of what have you. So if I dunk the game... Oh, oh, it's funny that I use the phrasing dunking the frame, because it's kind of like you dunk, you dunk film, right? Like, uh, you... Oh, that's crazy. I don't even want to know, like, the detailed coding that that would require. Maybe it's not that detailed, but that's weird to think that that's a thing that's in a game at all. That that's a thing that the game's registering is, like, the window position like that. That's really interesting. And it makes me think of when you're actually... There's a word for it, like, processing film in, like, a dark room. And you submerge it in one of those baths to, to process the film. Ah, oh, that was crazy cool. Uh, okay, I don't know what this code will be for, but I, I guess I gotta make note of this. Alright, solid. So you don't need that right away, do you? Do you really want the answer? No, 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 I got it. I got it. No answer necessary. I just don't know where the hell to use it now. Ooh. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door for some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Well, if it's made of metal... <laughs> ah, dang it. I thought it would be fun to just shove a bunch of magnets onto, like, an important seeming vault. Just gussy it up a little bit, just for, just for a laugh. Just to make things a little prettier. A little more visually appealing. I don't know where we are or what good any of this will do. Wow. Wow, I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people, I guess most of the world's population lives here. It is very pretty in like a very ominous way considering everything's all lit up red, like blood, water, whatever. But in its own right, it is still a, a very gorgeous little spectacle. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. I can relate to that. I was thinking about it the other day that on like the, the quote main street of where I grew up, there was like two stories was like the tallest building. What about you, Graham? Where do you live? Currently a city, not where I grew up though. A city like this? Well, honestly, I live in, like, the small town of cities. <laughs> it is technically a city, but it is not, like, any mega city or metropolis or anything like that. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting and kind of scary. The view is nice, though. I would say most cities don't have great views. I very much enjoy the view of my own city, though. There's a lot more green space here than there is in most because, again, it's, like quite small on a scale of cities. How far can I run out across this bridge? Because this is feeling excessive. And I'm guessing that that... Am I just stuck in a loop now all of a sudden? I wonder if this is the same staircase that I already passed. Like it was going to force me to that no matter what. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to pop me out in the exact same spot, then I guess that's the case. Oh, am I just running like... It's maybe it's a circle, just like a big circle that takes you through a loop around the entire city. So I might as well go run off to the right as well and just kind of investigate, see if there's anything new here and probably proof that it is just a giant loop. Yeah, that's all it is. All right. Well, I have no way in to here, do I? I mean, I... There's no way to enter anything into that screen. 
I don't see any way to activate the screen to allow me to enter a code or anything. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm just abandoning that for now. I, I don't know. Beyond clock, lady. What's this? This is glowing. This seems important. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Uh, maybe you just cut a little strip of tape then? Since you can't take the whole thing? If I cut off a piece of tape to keep, it would just lose its stickiness. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. Sticking magnets, now that I attempt to do it, is a dumb decision. You'd really just make it worse at both of the things. It would probably stick worse and, and magnetize worse. A stapler. It's also bolted to the table. Someone takes this stuff really seriously. They're just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use though. Oh, well, I was kind of just wondering. That was by theor theorizing that that's what the case was, but I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Uh, yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. Mm, but it has power, it just doesn't have buttons. So I bet this guy's gonna blow it off. <laughs> There's a button missing and can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. <sighs> Never mind. I'll do it myself. Some kind of computer terminal. Or just a, a, a computer in general. I, I, I guess I don't have anything that needs to be taped currently. I haven't fully explored everything, so I'll go hunt around and see what maybe is in need of some taping. This seems like it would be too easy, but can the magnets act as buttons? That man said something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit them into the into the panel. I've only half read that, but I, that was the gist of it, was that no, it was not going to work. I think this is the last- oh wait, this is literally the last place I can go, so... If I don't find any solution here, then I at least know that I'm going to have to look through things more thoroughly. Oh, hi there. Mm, weird, you were the second character as far as I have remembered who has a background on their portrait. I wonder if they just found that because you're in this scene with your brown hair on kind of a reddish brown background, if it looked weird... Even though your in-game sprite character has kind of bluish hair. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Yeah, it seems pretty treacherous. Makes it hard to access things for sure. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyways. You guys better hope an anomaly doesn't burst through one of the levels of the elevator or something and put that out of commission. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I'd seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um, he didn't get it. Either that or he didn't like it. Maybe he was just infuriated. Well, this is glowing, so this has got to be useful. It's an empty coffee tin. Can I fill it with anything? Milk and sugar? I like both, but not in coffee. I usually take my coffee with one cream. Wait. I'm trying to think of what the intergalactic line from Beastie Boys is. I like my sugar with coffee and cream, I think is the line. I don't really put sugar in my coffee, but I do love that line. <laughs> it just, just happened to pop into my mind. Made of aluminum, says coffee grounds. Oh, so it already says ground. Do we just need this as a label, perhaps? But it's not going to work as is. Uh, I don't want to cut magnets. I want to cut the grounds part out of this. Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Oh, yeah, I was doing it strictly just for the word. I guess you could make the entire button out of it. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. A button? Simple button made from a coffee tin, but then you can put magnets in it. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? 
Mm, it's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough. Magnetized button? Mm, loosely attached. So I'm gonna guess this isn't gonna work, and probably what I'm gonna need is the tape. If we tape the magnets to the tin, then that should that should cover us fully. I feel like that's the piece of the puzzle that I'm missing currently. We'll try and slot it into the into the broken piece of the elevator, but I, I'm gonna guess it's not gonna work. All right, let's hope this works. The button fits snugly, and I think I hear the machine powering on. The button completely fell apart. Hey, you tried. Yeah, I've done more than you, dude. Oh well. So did we get the pieces again? You tried. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's funny to call the item that. I did my damnedest. Cut me some slack. Cut me some slack the way I cut that tin. It's not easy to cut tin. And in a similar vein, you should cut me slack even when it, it seems not easy to do. Oh, I could hold it together with tape. I should have done this in the first place. So am I gonna have like a, a jankier version of this than I would have if I didn't? Nah, it seems fine. The magnets are secured with tape. I think I think we got that all under control then. That seems usable. Not the correct room. Moment of truth. Let's get this bad boy purring. Hope this works. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this gonna work anymore? It's exactly what I was worried about. The anomaly showing up in the middle of the elevator shaft. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. <laughs> oh, I know that. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and no, no, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. Then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Missing a whole entire button. So broken. Obviously, he means the anomaly. I guess we should go look for a code, Graham. Not to worry. I'm all over that biz. I got it written down right here. Six. Three. Zero. One. Four. You should put more zeros in your code. It makes it easier. Should have gone for a good old eight zero zero eight five. What? It works? I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Graham, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've done everything I need to around here. Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door open for me, mister. No prob, hop in. <laughs> Can you imagine standing side by side, someone waiting for the elevator, and when it comes, not doing anything to hold it for them? Just like running in there without them and immediately smashing a close button like, guess I'll have to catch the next one. <laughs> I decided to just add no commentary there and let the awkwardness just sit uncomfortably for a few seconds. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Sure is warm out today. Warmer than yesterday. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah, and I also literally God himself. This is awkward. Uh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Graham, should I ask about his job, about the city, about the library? Resume awkward silence. Now, what's your job? What do you do around here? You seem really busy. I, uh... I fix lights, mostly. Me too, in a way. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Hmm... So we have like phosphorus trees and phosphorus pits. Maybe the pits don't produce phosphorus, that's where it's being refined? Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. 
Uh, I just realized we abandoned the garden. I hope we get to go back to that at some point and, like, properly help Maze regrow. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Probably the entire world ending? <laughs> oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Alright, Graham. Should I... We can talk about the city. The city's very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there was the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Probably doesn't help that huge parts of it are becoming, like, totally inaccessible. No. It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. It's more like a refuge. <laughs> that square stuff that we just saw. We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. It's... The anomaly seems to... It, its color palette seems to match wherever it's appearing. So when I was all like... Oh, look, it's red and black. That's crazy and different in, in, in some way. I think it's just that in the Glen, it was like green and black. Here, it's red and black. In the Barrens... It was like gray and black or something, but there was totally, I think there was only one, maybe two in the entirety of the Barrens, and it was it was just kind of a more simple color. The land mass itself is still holding up, which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. All right, Graham, should I ask about the library? Might as well. I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well. I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Graham. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. I never got their name. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Graham. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Shouldn't be too hard of a task. You there, sir. Tell me where yonder library lie. <laughs> Beep boop. Beep boop. Well, that was not the helpful guidance I was looking for. I don't know why I keep striking off to the left first. Seems weirdly like the thing to do. <sighs> you alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. This guy seemed important. He had his cool suit, his top hat. He's got a somber, sort of quiet dignity around him, but he doesn't even get a portrait. Seems seems really choosy who does and doesn't get portraits when you talk to them. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know, but what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Graham. After all, Graham helped me get this far. I'll take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Well, thanks for talking in riddles, dude. I thought you were going to be helpful. No one down here is helpful. The surface sucks. <laughs> I, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll give it a chance. Wow, there is not a lot to be inspected around here, is it? Ooh, I wonder if I can head down there at all. Although it does look like water. I wonder how you access or if you can access that little spot. Obviously, there's the arrows there. I'm going to fully kind of explore this plane first. Here we are. Here's someone new. Evening news! Evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, uh, aren't you a kid? Tiny Tim robot? I am a robot. Right. Carry on then. Evening News Community Bulletin. The library released several new books by the elusive author last week. The head librarian recommends them. The assistant librarian had no comment as he reportedly fled the scene sobbing. The receptionist had no comment either because the receptionist is a robot. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that striking bulletin. Thank you for keeping me so uh, privy to, to new news items. It seems like everyone was complaining about the surface 
being so small and limited and everything, there's a lot, it seems like there's a lot to explore here. Hello, prison. The library is up ahead. Oh, dope. Just by nature of going where my heart was leading me, I found the library. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Yeah, gone in an instant seems like it would just, it would be easier on everyone, you know? Probably for the best. Alright, well, going to the library seems like a pretty big next step. I'm going to backtrack ever so slightly just to see if um, some of the stuff I was passing over was like small singular rooms rather than big sprawling branching paths, you know? So down here towards the thing, I was curious how to access locked from the inside, so I can't do that one anyways. That's the sort of thing I'm, I'm glad to check up on, you know? I'd rather have that confirmed for myself. And now there's that building and this area with all the arrows, which apparently is just a back alley. So I can't imagine it'll be very big. Trash bin. Oh, Jesus Christ. That kind of startled me a little bit. There was no sound effect. That looked like just a regular cat, you know? Graham, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. Then I saw something? Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. I guess keep investigating these in case that cat is just like looming around in one of these bins. I mean, unlikely, probably. That was neat. I'm gonna see more of this crazy cat creature roaming around. Jeez. No way, who would have thought that this back alley was anything more than just the tiniest little bit to investigate? Oh, this poor robot's trapped here. P please do not approach. Oh, I'm so sorry. These squares again. Oh, I feel so bad for this guy. He got caught up in one of the anomalies. It's messed up. He's gonna get destroyed down there. Hey. Oh, cute little fox creature. No, come back. Oh, Graham, did you see that fox just now? Just ran behind the tree. Did someone mention a fox at some point in this game? I kind of thought so. Oh, was it the fox I saw? With the, with the glow and the quick flash and everything? I thought it was a cat. I'm sorry if you were looking at looking for me. Uh, this this reminds me of Johnny Cash's like talking coyote in The Simpsons. I wish I could do a, a Johnny Cash voice for this then, but I cannot talk to you, not now. Um, it seems like we're already talking, dude. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh. What do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. Well... Slap me silly and call me a kitty. I don't know what that phrase means that I just made up, but... <laughs> I really thought there was going to be more to, more to happen with that fox. I was stoked. I was stoked to make a little fox friend. Whoa, we got a toaster head guy, a coffee head dude. What is this? What area did we just wander into that we hadn't been to before? All right, I'm going to go to the far side of it and then backtrack to talk to people. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is so much in this city. The city's massive. What is going on? I'm going to get so lost around here. There's just endless different places we can go and everything. Is this all just water or is it some kind of messed up lava or something? Like what am I what am I walking over right now? What in the hell? Okay. I'm gonna choose to put a circle right here. <laughs> Play a little bit of tic-tac-toe. Well, that is certainly fishy. Things are getting weird, guys. Like this is like I can't hmm. I can't seem to walk. I mean, I can I can walk clear behind it, but I'm also like investigating walking down and up as I progress to see if there's another way through it. Do I just need to throw a switch? Do I need to talk to the right person? Do I need to bring something to this room? What am I missing? Because I'm guessing the X is bad. I'm guessing I want a green or a check mark or something like that. Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh, nice. Okay. 
So that's at the very least how you do that. Now I know how those connect. Now I'll go back through that long stretch of, uh, of city there where there was like the toaster head and stuff. I'll go talk to those guys. So, anyone have any interesting things they want to tell me? Hey, this guy's like a water cooler head. I could use like a huge supply of water for my plant if I can ever make my way back there. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Okay, so I've invented a medicine to prevent everyone from the upcoming water shor shortage. Prepare? I probably read something wrong there. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. Boom, it's exactly what I need. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me, go spread the word. The water pill goes in water, supposedly. That's exactly what we needed, thank you. Actually, I exaggerated. The effects of the pill wear off in like a week, but all you have to do is just take another pill. That's still a pretty magical pill. The exaggeration wasn't really necessary, it kind of, it already has a strong sell point as is, but cool. We got to make sure we put that back in our garden there. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though. Do you want one? It's okay. I, I, I kind of wanted one. Nico, you should consult me on these things. Although I wouldn't be able to eat it. I'd have to enjoy it through you. Are you here for your photos? Alrighty then, I'll just, uh, stand here. Do you- oh, I can't- okay, you can't walk around with it or carry it or anything. I want to see if you could ask this character to develop the film for you or anything, but, I mean, I think we've already done that. I think that's already a completed task. Oh, there's a slot here. It looks like paper or something might come out from it. Oh, it comes out. It didn't do anything. So I'm taking- a photo. Yes, maybe, possibly. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. There's four slots on this? What would a giant photo be for? And where am I going to get four things to fill the slots? What a peculiar side quest that I don't even remotely know where to start. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. Okay, that legit sounds good. Uh, I think you should take him up on it. I see. No? No desire? Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I could probably stomach a minimal amount. I'll pass. Guy, you're, you're getting offered free food here. You should take them up on it. Hey, changing light bulbs. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. How are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. This is kind of another cool thing in this world, but because they don't have light bulbs and stuff, they fill things with phosphorus and fireflies and stuff like that, so it's kind of neat that there's someone's job is to just top up the amount of phosphorus in here. I think it might be leaking. He looks busy. You can tell, huh? I... I'm sorry, dude. I don't think I have a way to, to top up the lamp. Interesting. You can interact with all these street lamps. I'm sorry. I, I'd, I'd help you patch that if I could. I, I don't know if that's really what you need. Doesn't seem like something I'm going to be able to... A service I'm going to be able to provide. Oh, the first rectangle, maybe? There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Graham. Are we actually going to take these with us? They look so heavy. All right. They do look heavy. They look massive. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Convex, uh, thick, concave, and and thin. So these are definitely for the camera, but how will I know which goes into which? Looks like a note on the table. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Oh, damn. We're like in that dude's home. Are we? Lots of glass jars. Big books. Ah, these are dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. Just trying to flesh out his vocabulary a little bit. Empty coffee cups, rusty garbage can. There's a broken glass in here. 
Why is he breaking so many glass? Oh, he has a clover journal. A big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Maybe it's not the same as the journal. It just happens to be another clover style book. All right. What if I... Uh, I mean, I, I assume they can't combine combine them. But if I take them to the lamplighter, will he be like, Hey, what the hell were you doing in my apartment? <laughs> hey, isn't that... Oh, goodness gracious. Did the Messiah, literally God himself, just break into my house? Oh, was that your... You heard me? It keeps happening. Sorry about breaking in your house. It's weird that I can hear this guy's thoughts. We didn't actually break anything, but Graham said I should take these plastic discs for some reason. Should we put them back? It's okay, keep them. I wouldn't have been able to fix that machine anyway. Uh, any hints on how to maybe do it? Thanks for taking them off my hands, I guess? The lenses, that is? The scientists wanted me to use them to fix the camera in the photo booth, but you can imagine how that went. I'm just glad I didn't break anything. Hmm. I mean, if there's four different things, that would be a lot of different possible patterns of placement. So I don't think you would want to, like, brute force place them. Damn. Uh, I have no way of knowing what order would make sense. I'm Solving that just by random guessing can't be the solution. So I guess I'll go hunting a little bit further to see if maybe I can find an actual answer. I'm gonna have to dig through the alleys a little bit further here to make sure I found everything. Hello on the wall here. It's a faded flyer. With nothing useful apparently. I thought maybe they would have hints. Oh hello there, ram graffiti. A curious marking on the wall. Looks like a ram? Let me sport my ram pride. I see you have the club uniform. You may come in. <gasps> oh my gosh. More rams. More spinning rams? Are you a demon ram again? Jesus Christ, why? It's good to see you too. You're the same guy, Secret Ram Club. So, we meet again. Hello? Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. You're right, they are always in my heart. I've known that my whole life. And I finally have words to put to it. They are rams. I am ram. We are ram. Okay. They're gonna box me in here. <laughs> An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Oh, right, it's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of ramen? I thought it was gonna be tea. And I was trying to see where the joke was heading there. Um, yes, I would. I'll oh, pass. You gotta stop passing on this. I want food. Or at the very least, I want to see what interactions the food has. Making the goats jump around is funny. But seriously, guys, you gotta get out of my way. There, that's what I was trying to do. Well, that was awesome. And super worth digging around <laughs> for. I love it. Oh, what the hell? There are cats. There are cats down here, too. It's strangely warm in this room. What do you guys got going on in here? What are you building? You got a weird robot friend? Interacting with the cats just makes meows. It doesn't actually bring up any dialogue. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? No time for the cat club. I'm already a full-time member of the Ram Club. I've, I'm the self-appointed vice president of the Ram Club. Join your cats? Yes, but I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Graham to guide me. I see. It's funny that all the cats just swarm around like a thermal vent based robot. Just a heat output robot. It's warm here. Yeah, this was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Oh, oh you look tired. 
Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Graham and I got stuff to do. I see. At least this guy's nice and understanding. He's definitely got that going for him. I basically just need to head to the, li the library now. I feel like there's a couple extra little offshoots and stuff of this that I haven't fully explored, so I can poke around in the city a little bit more, but I'll, I'll save that and, and the library for next time. Things are running a little bit long here. I feel like I must be getting close to the end of the game. I gotta finish up in the refuge here, then head to the tower? And the tower itself will be the end of the game, is kind of what I'm guessing. But uh, I don't know that for certain. We'll have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon.